Cross the rainbow bridge of Asgard, where the booming heavens roar. You'll behold in breathless wonder the God of Thunder, mighty Thor. Hey, true believers, it's Rob coming at you with a new video, and this is going to be on my comic book haul for April 8th. Um, today I'm recording it, it's April 9th, so that was yesterday. I uh, got some comics, uh, not a gang low, but a good, a good amount. Uh, so I bought some back issues for one series. And uh, yeah, some pretty cool stuff, and I'll go ahead and start this off. First off, we got here from IDW and Boom, Star Trek and the Planet of the Apes Prime Directive Story. Um, the new one that came out this week is actually this one, it's issue 5, and uh, I got the variant cover, I thought it was a really cool cover, with Leonard Nimoy on the, uh, actual photograph of Leonard Nimoy saying Leonard Nimoy in the, the time he lived and passed away, and actual set pictures of the apes from Planet of the Apes. It says this is a crossword, no one would ever expect that it's a madhouse, it's a madhouse. Oh. Uh, I had a little extra on this one, this was 6 bucks, so not too much extra. But I did get some back issues that I missed. Uh, I got these two guys from my regular comic book shop, but this is issue 4, with a cool you know, picture of Kirk and Charles Heston. I not remember his character's name for a minute here, but uh, fighting the gorillas and stuff, that's pretty cool. I'll show you the art real quick. Oh, there's some of the varying covers, too. do have some other photograph covers there. Art is pretty cool. I dig it. It's nice. It's a nice big picture of I think a Caesar maybe. I don't know. Um, so there you go. Pretty cool art. And this one I got at a different comic book shop. I went looking I went out looking for my uh, Cyclops issue 12 from with the black vortex that I missed. They didn't have it, but I found this one that I missed before. Uh, it was issue two of the series, Charge of Planet Eight, Prime Directive. And it's a cool cover, and what's cool about this one is actually autograph. There are several issues out in there, it's a little stand there of this series that was autographed by the writers, uh, David Tipton and Scott. That's a Scott. Not sure what's his, that's his last name or first name, but uh, I thought it was a, a real autograph. They didn't charge me extra, they just charged me the Alright, the retail price was three ninety nine, and uh, so yeah, there's the art stuff. But uh, that was pretty cool. So I picked up three issues. Uh, so I'm all caught up. Well, I have all of these. I haven't read them yet, but uh, I got issues one through five of Star Trek: Planet of the Apes, which is pretty cool. I also did pick up uh, a new one from uh, Star Wars: Dark Vader, issue number four. And this is the Mar. This is from Marvel. Uh, like I said Dark Vader number four. And if you hear a lot, well, loud clicking sound. That's my dog walking behind me, making a lot of noise. <laughs> I don't know if the phone picked it up or not, but uh, yeah. So it's a pretty cool cover. It's Darth Vader surrounded by a bunch of um, uh, droids. Uh, oh, damn, my memory is really shot. Uh, I can't remember the name of these droids. Uh, well, they're the droids from like Ph Phantom Menace and uh, Attack of the Clones. They're always getting destroyed by the Jedi's, and he's surrounded by them. So, just a quick look at the art here. Uh, I dig the art for Darth Vader series. It's pretty cool. And of course, this coming up weekend, I believe was actually it starts. I think it started. Yeah, it started today. Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, and I'm not going. Boo hoo. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And we'll probably see the new Star Wars trailer this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Well, at least they will at Celebration. I don't know we will we'll actually get to see it as well. We might not, but if it leaks, we'll see. But yeah, this art's pretty cool. And uh, got in the back, Ooh, Black Series, Jedi Luke, and Darth Vader. Love this back cover. But yeah, Darth Vader number four from Marvel. Happy to have this one. And also from Marvel, we got Captain Marvel, number 14, The Black Vortex, Chapter 11. And I did miss, I said, miss Chapter 10, which is Cyclops number 12. So that's the only one I'm missing. I got the other nine chapters. Uh, 
as for this book itself, uh, dig the cover. That's interesting that Captain Marvel's getting hugged by a semi translucent image of her. So, hmm, so I wonder what that means. So, yeah, chapter 11, is, I'm pretty sure, is a heavily Captain Marvel story here. Heaven, uh, heaven, heaven. I can talk heavy on Captain Marvel for this story, this particular. Well, it's her issue, so. Well, this particular chapter of uh, uh, Captain Marvel, uh, Black Vortex. So, yeah, I don't want to show, I don't want to show more art because I'll give away the story. Gillette. They are releasing Avengers Gillette razors that I saw, and they look pretty cool. Kind of like the Hulk and the Iron Man one, so I might get one of those. We'll see. If I do, I'll do a video for it. It should be interesting. Um, so, yeah, Captain Marvel, Chapter 11, uh, Black Vortex, issue number 14. And now we're moving on to DC Comics, and I picked up Convergence, issue number 1, which is technically the second issue behind issue zero, 0, but, uh, yeah, issue number 1. Uh, it's the big Convergence story for DC, it's the big, I guess, late spring, early summer story, where they tried to do a, I don't know if they're doing a full reboot or something like that, or some sort of a semi-reboot with DC. I don't know why, they were doing great with 52, but nevertheless, they're doing it, and, uh, was it Brainiac is the main villain, and, uh, as far as we know, but, uh, so there you go. Uh, so, yeah, that's a pretty cool cover, if you want big details on this story and what's going on, I highly recommend Cup which I think was it, the, uh, yeah, uh, Comic Historian and, uh, Comics Explain. Those two channels are really good at, at really going into the meat, the meat of the stories and or explanation of what this overall different series or arcs or characters mean and stuff like that. I always watch those channels, so I recommend those. But uh, yeah, Convergence number one, cool cover, and they got um, it was interesting to me to have front and center Harley, Harley Quinn, pretty cool costume. Yeah, the costume. But the Flash was is rapidly becoming one of my more favorite characters in the comic book world. Based because never was a big Flash guy, but uh, based on that show, man, that Flash TV show, I'm really digging Flash now. Yeah, Batman, Superman, and Cyborg on the cover. And speak of the devil, Flash. There you go, Tuesday at eight. Cool. That's a cool picture of him. He usually, this looks a little too kid-like to me, the actor, but, uh, which is a little more older, but, eh, he's fine. He works. Uh, there you go, soups. Interesting. I'm not gonna, I just wanna show the art real quick. I don't wanna ruin the story. But, yeah, it's pretty cool art inside. There you go. And the back, go. So, Convergence number one. Cool. Sticking with DC Comics, we all got another Convergence story, and... Convergence Justice League number one. So they're restarting the whole num numbers here. So yeah, Justice League. I always pick up Justice League and Batman for DC. And if I were doing Denels, it's because something big's going on, or we'll see, but I might start. Well, I'll explain it more. But yeah, Justice League number one. And all the, all the ladies of DC on the cover here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they're all kind of stuffed into a globe or a glass or something. Interesting cover. Uh, Fight for your city. Pre-Flashpoint Gotham City. Inferno Flashpoint Gotham City. Hollywood, Calif California. New York City, Angor. Interesting. So yeah, there, oh, the art, hey, 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 sexy. But uh, yeah, it's cool, looks, uh, Nice. I like, I'm digging the art. It's very uh, more realistic type, I guess, for a comic. But uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know much what's going on here. But uh, there you go. Just to see number one in the back, Morgan. There you go. And finally, from DC Comics, Speed Force issue. What issue? This is one. No. I guess it's issue one. It's supposed to be the Flash kind of uh, convergence story, but uh, there are, my comic book shop got these variant covers that I'm not a big fan of, but that's what they had, so I 
bought it because I'm suddenly a big Flash fan. It's it's interesting that I'm at this age suddenly becoming a big Flash fan. It's just it's nothing not a love I developed when I was younger. I have no interest in the Flash before. I thought his costume always looked cool, but that was about it. Uh, so now I'm big into Flash, and uh, this one's called Speed Force, which is the the thing that probably makes him run fast. And it says it's one of two varying covers designed by Chip Kidd. And uh, cover art by Freddie Williams II, and so and so. But uh, it's an interesting cover. Um, it's half a flash face, kind of a. And it looks like a kind of a vintage looking flash with blue on the side. And they had other characters, other books, like designed like this. But I'm not sure about that. And zip ties, part one of two. But it was uh, it's the Flash story for Convergence, so that's why I got it. It's, it's I'm a big fan now, and uh, it's, it looks like it looks like in Gotham. So um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And as far as I go, the art looks decent. It's all right. I think it looks magnificent, but it works. There's the YouTube channel for DC All Access. Alright, so yeah. And that's it, actually. I just got... See, not a lot of Marvel, which is weird. I usually get a lot of Marvel and I only got two issues. Um, I was thinking of picking up Spider-Man 2099. And it was issue 11, but I'm, I'm off that, that wagon and um, not jumping back on it. I'm happy with the first 10 issues and I stopped there with it. And I know there are any anyways with uh, the whole uh, Secret Wars thing, so it doesn't matter anymore with that. Um, so, yeah, and these some DC, which is new for me, and uh, those Star Trek Planet of the Apes issues. So, yeah, that's pretty cool haul of comic books. Uh, hopefully, I haven't read them yet, so I will hopefully I enjoy them and uh, hopefully I catch up on my comics here soon enough. Uh, so, that's it. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel, pretty please, and uh, keep on being true believers. Keep on collecting. See you later. Bye.